Hey there everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about my five favorite exercises to do for carpal tunnel syndrome. Now there are many exercises out there that work really well. I like these five because they're easy to do at home and people can do them very compliantly and fairly often, okay? So a couple things we need to remember is that you can develop compression in the carpal tunnel over here in the wrist and that compresses that median nerve that gives you this you know, pain and tingling and weakness in your hand, especially in these uh, fingers. You can also get entrapment up into the forearm and even all the way up into the brachial plexus. So one of the exercises I like to always start with is one that helps to stretch the wrist and the forearm some. So the nice thing about this exercise is that it gets both of them at the same time. So I have the patient put both hands together like this fingers together, and while keeping the palms together, I try to get the elbows elevated a little bit, so we get this nice stretch at the wrist over here, okay? I'll typically have them hold this exercise for about 15 to 20 seconds, and then take a little bit of a rest, and then do that three to five times. Then, we go from this position to pulling the palms away from each other, but keeping the fingers in touch so that we get an even bigger stretch of all of these tendons that come through the carpal tunnel. Okay, so that would be my second exercise. My third exercise is what we call an independent tendon glide. So I usually use a nice solid surface for this. And I take the hand, put it here, and have the patient stabilize all fingers but one of them. And so what they do here is they just Flex that finger up and down, and you'll even feel that pulling coming up right through the wrist over here, okay? And then once you're done that one, you can eliminate those and just do the middle finger, and then go to the ring finger, and then the little finger, and do them all individually. I usually do about 10 repetitions for each finger twice, and I'll do that on both hands also. Now. To get a deeper tendon, I will try to get just the tip. So what I'll do is use a ruler or a book on top of the hand, and I'll just try to bend the end of the finger like this to get that deeper tendon, that flexor digitorum profundus, and then I'll work my way down to all four fingers. I'll do 10 repetitions of each, twice on each hand, and that usually works really well. And the purpose for that is to help improve the gliding of the tendons through the carpal tunnel so you don't get so much scarring in that area. Okay, now the next exercise I'm going to do, I'll do it on this side because I have room with the table here, um, would be a median nerve glide. And I've done some videos on this and uh, this is how you do it. You have the patient drop the shoulder like this and then, and not bend over, keeping the head neutral, drop the shoulder, bring the hand out to the side, and now start to bring the arm away from the body while the shoulder stays depressed. Now you're gonna feel this pretty aggressive pulling throughout the arm. You should never push through this. This is not one of those exercises where doing it more and, and pushing harder is better, okay? We want this to be gentle, and we just want to slide that nerve up and down in the soft tissues in the arm. And so you depress, hand comes out, arm comes away from the body, and then you can even tilt the head toward that area and then bring the arm down and go back and forth like this so you're getting that nice sliding of that nerve. And that can help release that median nerve throughout the arm, which can be very helpful. The last exercise I like people to do is called a thumbs up exercise. So I will usually have people get on a bed so that the uh, they're at the corner down here where the foot goes, and you just rest the chin, bring the arms down by the side, and then what you do is you turn the thumbs up, and you lift them up toward the ceiling, trying to make a T with your body. So just a nice, gentle, up and down motion. It's important that the thumbs go up so we activate the rotator cuff. We're squeezing the shoulder blades together to help with posture, and not only does it help with posture, but it also helps to glide that nerve again. And with better posture, we have better circulation to the arm to help heal up these tissues that are getting damaged all the time with repetitive gripping, grasping, um, or anything else that causes this inflammation and irritation in the carpal tunnel. So 
Those are my five favorite exercises. There are many others out there. I usually do a lot of postural re-strengthening and um, I also do soft tissue modalities before uh, my exercises. So I will do some soft tissue work, ultrasound, electrical stimulation, heat, bring some blood flow to the area. I might do some manual mobilization to this region. And I even like to use iontophoresis to help decrease inflammation in that area. So I don't just do the exercises alone, but it is just a few tools that I use in my toolbox to get people better with carpal tunnel syndrome. So folks, I hope you found that helpful for treating your carpal tunnel on your own. And um, I hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching.